what's up y'all welcome back today we're gonna react to one of Hamza's video shout out to Hamza he's doing a great job if you guys don't know who Hamza is uh, he's a youtuber that I uh, recently discovered maybe two three months ago uh, what he does is uh, uh, videos what he does he produces uh, videos for uh, self-improvement videos but uh, he talks about mental improvement uh, physical improvement um, there's this video he made uh, titled why I act broke while making 30k a month I always had this this ideal that idea you know I, I I never I never spend my money on brand names brand shoes brand name clothes it's pointless you know I think uh, you know those people who made those brand names brand names clothes brand name shoes what if you took that money you you buying with those with those clothes you invested right into yourself or you create your own brand name clothes and sell it for 20 times 10 times more so I'm gonna play you guys a little bit of clip from him uh, hopefully it's not too loud in here but um, I'm just gonna unplug it and show you guys like on a little bit of what he's talking about the his videos like 22 minute long but I'm like I'm gonna start it from like 8 minute and 40 40 seconds if you guys would like to watch the whole video I will leave a link in the description below you guys uh, make sure to go check it out but I just wanna like like this how you know this is like this is my view on why like why I feel like young people are misled like with hip hop with like ads too much ad like they just shove it down your throat which is no good um any clothes that you see on me <laughs> i never bought it with my money i'll tell you that 100 percent right now whether it's a family member whether it's a co-worker whether whether it's a sibling or a friends that they don't want clothes no more they pass it down to me or they buy it new for me. I barely spend my money on clothes. Never buy brands. Anyway, but here's what I see myself doing. I'm gonna work hard, save my money, be debt free. Cause this car I'm sitting in right now, the, the only purpose why I bought it is because my old one did not did not have did not have the heating system and the cooling system. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, in North America, is, uh, we have a winter season and a summer season. Summers get hot and winters get too cold. So, for that reason, those two simple reasons, that's why I bought the car. But it made me. Once I listened to this this guy, Hamza, it made me realize how like I I stole, I stole from my future self. I mean, I just want you guys to listen to it. It's really great point. Um, so, uh, let me see, let me see if I could screen record it for you guys and put it somewhere beside me or like below here. Uh, hopefully, I didn't talk too long. So here we go me off about this with concepts like this those dumbasses have clicked off the video they will not watch videos on finance they would have clicked on this just you know because there's money involved and everything and they would have clicked off as soon as i started ranting 
chances are if you're this, you're already on my side. So the video is kind of pointless because we're not going to convert any of these materialistic spurgs who spend a lot of money. Hopefully, like, you might be, like, a recovering materialistic spurg you're watching this and you're like, oh, yeah, like, he, you'll be commenting, like, oh, yeah, like, um, I used to spend a lot of money and I realized, like, it didn't make me happy. Yeah, of course it didn't fucking make you happy. Of course it didn't. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't because you're just spending it because your surrounding is telling you to. You're not spent. You're not sitting down and thinking, "Oh, what do I actually need?" You know, what do I actually need? Let's continue. We're gonna continue reacting anyway. There is no excuses right now to be ignorant of the facts. Because there's so much research that proves now that materialistic purchases don't make you happy, that it does absolutely nothing to your feelings of well-being. Actually, it kind of reduces them because now you've just got more stress, you have yeah. more financial stress, and you've also got like more of a potential loss. That's true. Oh, my camera's gonna die. <laughs> <sighs> that that like camera dying like always like it happens to me too. Every time I today I wanted to do a, a different kind of video before before this. But uh, my camera died, and I had to go back and get my smallest camera. My like, my other one, my big one has like a viewfinder, so I'm able to look at it, uh, frame myself in it. But this one, I'm just this one has no viewfinder, so I just um, like put it, station it, and just record. Man, I feel I feel this pain there. <laughs> Okay. It blows my mind that the majority of young people who make 10 times less money than me okay. have outfits that cost 10 times more than mine. How is that possible? If you do the right things, step one is increase your income. Step two, stop being a dumbass with your money. There is no reason why you can't get financially free in the next few years. Anyone who tells you otherwise, I, I see comments when I talk about financial freedom. I see comments of people, oh, but oh, like all this fucking limited blah, but I'm an idiot. Shut the fuck up. All, the, all this shit. <laughs> the enthusiasm, you know, that's crazy. Like he, he got like, he, he's like, he's like telling you how it is. You know, no beating around the bush. Just, just focus and grind. You know, all this good stuff. You can have it in later time. You can improve your your luck. Maybe the best the best thing is reinvest in your fitness. I think that's that's what I've learned from watching these guys. I've been watching like seven pro videos. I think they're I think they motivate you and they give you a different perspective. You know, on things. If you don't know much about yourself, you're gonna get to learn much about yourself. If you don't know how to do finance, you're gonna get to know how to do finance. You know, little by little, you consume this content. It just, it just takes the old habits and instill, instill in you a new habit. So, so I, I highly recommend you guys check this guy out. Um, other than that, that's what I think. But uh, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and listen to him. But, but, but everyone doesn't have the same opportunity. You just got lucky as shut the fuck up. You just got lucky as a YouTuber. You know? Shut the fuck up. You do the right things. You increase your income with some kind of business or some kind of like good ass skill instead of just going through the normal career route. Or at least if you're going through the career route, like fucking make a good amount of money. <laughs> Learn outside of your work. Do work outside of your work hours so that you can actually excel in your career. Make good finance. You know the funniest thing he said that? You know, do work out of your side work. You know what are you still? So I would go, I'll go, I would go to work for eight hours, and then there's those gig economies. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's like uh, food delivery companies, like uh, Skip, DoorDash, whatever. Those companies. I would do like, I would do four hours of those after after my eight hours of work, and then that would like, you know, boost my income. And he's giving like the same idea, and also like. I've started this channel like five, I believe five years ago, and uh, you know, here and there you make something. Don't what what they're saying is like, don't just rely on one source of income at any time. If you hit if you hit eighteen and up, maybe start at sixteen. <laughs> start. Don't follow fashion trends. 
doing nothing until you hit certain age. Decisions, stop buying stupid shit, stop buying experiences, and start investing for your future. There is no reason within 10. What I mean is, uh, stop buying uh, like bad stuff, things that not does not add value to you, and buy experiences. But he didn't, he didn't mean don't buy experiences, but he meant saying buy experiences, buy meaning like traveling, going out with your friends. Um, like that is not going out or like going somewhere like travel and like you know explore like a different area and different view that's that's what he's saying so that's a great advice i think years that you can't be you and your entire family can't be financially free by your efforts what a disgrace it is to grow to age 30 to age 40 to age 50 and still need to work because you made these stupid decisions when you were 24 and you wanted to go on a lad's holiday or some bullshit when you couldn't afford it <laughs> these are the these are like the years to grow. If you're in my if you're in your twenties and you've been fed this lie that the twenties are the best time of your life, have fun. You do realize who's giving you that. I think twenties and twenties are the year you should be grinding. Like just grind, just put in work. I think that's. I think yeah. Okay, but. Here we go. Advice Let's see what Amza says. 40 to 50 year old people who had fun in their 20s, you know, who partied and, and spent loads of money on Yeezys and all this fucking bullshit, and they still need to work full time. Why are you taking advice from the majority of people in your life? If they're broke, if they're above age 30, 35, and they still have to work, they are unsuccessful. Of course, oh, but Hamza, they, they could be successful because that janitor is more of a man than you all. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> it's a lot of that in, but uh, you know he, he he got some great points. You know, you, you can't say he doesn't. He got some great points. I don't know. Maybe this may. I mean, it's been it's been like giving me different perspective. I mean, installing different knowledge. I've been I I even started reading. Uh, since I, I got to listen to these guys, I think he's also got another buddy called uh, uh, First Man. I think that's the YouTube channel. Uh, if you guys want to go check out, they really give you a different perspective. So, here we go. I mean, it's true. Like, if you see you guys are on the same level, what would you? I mean, I. I I always did that, you know, like we were on the same in the same road and I would like I asked you know advice from the same the people on the same level. I would ask and you know sometimes they don't know, sometimes like oh I'll do that but it's not like the greatest it's not like that that advice that moves you, you know, like that that boosts your and how to describe it but uh, uh, he he make he makes great sense. So like, try to find those successful people so you can ask for advice. All right. Like, yeah, of course he's helping for his family. That's that's really noble. Congratulations. And we'll, we'll look up to that guy's character, his humility, his leadership. Fair enough, yeah. But if you want to follow in his footsteps and be a janitor when you're 60 years old, bro, you're a dumbass. Oh, but he is providing for his family. Yeah, but you could be providing for your family, you know much better more efficient more effective way so that you're actually at home with your family yeah there is you've got to understand that what you see online about these people making so much money like you see in this video it's not a lie it's not as unrealistic as it seems i believe it man. i guarantee there's a actually, lot of like, people might be watching this video. there's a lot of people throughout the years i started i i mean i started a long like i st i would say i started late i mean if i knew something like this existed like five years before. Man, I would have done it in a heartbeat. I would have learned it how to do it. You know? Like, there are people who make banks just doing this and creating opportunities for themselves. So, it completely makes sense when you say, like, I know what it means. Because I've seen it over the years. 
and I read I read a book says I think it was uh, it's called a book uh, think big the magic of thinking big it says like fear can fear can be cured fear can be cured by action by taking action so this is what I'm doing right now I'm taking action I'm doing these videos I'm no great at speaking so this this is the reason why I'm doing so I can get I can get good at speaking I can get I read so I can have more vocabularies vocabularies to use you know <sighs> what can I say man reading helps listening to pod does these guys like this podcast would really help you if you're lost and you don't know what to do Right now, I'm just uh, I'm just taking in, taking in knowledge, and taking action. This guy say, if you learn something today, once you know, like I don't know, I don't know if you guys know. I work in uh, I worked in construction. Uh, I did big cleaning. I did and uh, I did. I did cashiering and what I, what, I, what I have learned over the years is that if somebody teaches you something and you got it at that time and you did it right but after that you didn't continue practicing if you don't practice you're gonna lose that knowledge you see what I'm getting at? I think practice. When they say practice, practice, they they are accurately right. You know? I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys got some of it. Uh, from if you guys want to watch the whole video, check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. Other than that, um, from now on, it's all action. There's no tomorrow, it's just today. We just get in and go. Alright, y'all. Take care. And let's just do it.